preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and other words in a sentence. Today we are going to learn some new prepositions. I can see the beautiful sea from the balcony. So which is the preposition in the sentence? It is from. From tells us the point where I can see the beautiful sea. From where? From the balcony. So it is telling us the point from where something is happening. From where I can see something. From which shop have you bought this dress? So the preposition in the sentence is from. And when we use from in such sentences, we mean the source. Where have you bought this dress from? Here we can see that this is another usage of the preposition from. The vase fell from his hand. So the preposition here is from. And we can see that the vase is no more in his hand. It has been removed from his hand or separated. So, from is showing a separation or a removal or something being taken away from somebody or something. Her handbag was snatched from her. It was with somebody. Now it is no more with that person. It has been snatched. It has been taken away. So the preposition from is telling us that it has been taken away from somebody. So this is another usage of from. Her handbag was returned to her. Now the preposition in the sentence is to. When we use to, we are talking about to whom it has been given or who is receiving it. Who is receiving the handbag? It is this lady. So it has been returned to her. The dog walked from the living room to the bedroom. So we can see that there are two prepositions in the sentence. From and to. When we use from, we mean that it is starting at one point and when we use the preposition to, means it is ending at one point. So in the picture, we can see that the dog is walking from the living room and he is walking to the bedroom. So the dog walked from the living room to the bedroom. Let's see another sentence. The dog walked dash the living room, dash the bedroom. So, can we write the dog walked from the living room to the bedroom? Let's look at the animation. We can see that the dog is moving from one point from the bedroom and it is going at another point to the living room. So, what can we use here? The dog walked to the living room from the bedroom. So we can see that the dog is beginning at one point. In this slide, we can see he is beginning from the bedroom. Now if we look at this sentence, we can see that the dog walked from the living room. So in both these sentences, we can notice that the source is different. It is from the bedroom here and it is from the living room here. Now let's take a look at the second part over here. Where is he moving? To a destination, the end point and which is the end point? He is moving to the bedroom here. In this sentence, we can see that the dog walked to the living room. So, the final destination over here is the bedroom. But according to this animation, the final destination becomes the living room. So, we can see that from where to where it is taking place. We have to understand the starting 
and the ending point in order to place the preposition from and to in the correct place. The key to good health is a balanced diet. So the preposition here is to. So in this sentence, what is the key to good health? It is a balanced diet. So to is showing the connection between this. I baked the cake according to the instructions given. So to is the preposition here. And we notice that we have used it along with according. So when we say according to means as per the instructions. So I have baked the cake as per the instructions given. So you must always remember with the word according we always use the preposition to. And we have noticed the different usage of the preposition to in these different sentences. Now we have already seen that the dog walked to the bedroom. So the final destination over here is the bedroom. So we are using the preposition to. Now let's look at this sentence. The dog walked dash the bedroom. So we can see that the dog is moving in one direction but he is not actually getting into the bedroom. So which preposition are we going to use here? We will use the preposition towards. When we say towards, we mean in the direction of. Something or somebody is moving in the direction of. But we do not know whether that is the destination or not. So in this animation, what can we see? That the dog is walking in the direction of the bedroom. But we are not very sure whether the bedroom is where it wants to go. Whether that is the final destination. When we use the preposition to, we mean a specific location. When we use the preposition towards, we mean in the direction of. We do not show any specific location over here. The bull charged towards the red cloth. So the preposition in this sentence is towards. Now if you look at this animation, the bull is running in the direction of the red cloth. But we are not very sure whether that is where it wants to go. So we have used towards to show that he is running in one direction. But it may or it may not be the end location. The aeroplane headed towards the city. So the preposition is towards. And from this picture we can see that the aeroplane is heading in one direction. Towards the city it is moving in that direction. But we really do not know whether the aeroplane is going into the city or it is going to move over the city and move somewhere else. We really do not know that. Now fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions. The school is over. Rachel is returning dash school. Her teacher has given a prize dash her today. So she is walking happily. Suddenly she sees that a little girl is running dash her. The options are towards, from and to. Let's take the first example. The school is over. So when school is over, Rachel is returning dash school. So from the beginning, she is going to a destination. So what is the beginning point? It is the school. So what preposition are we going to use here? We are going to use... Rachel is returning from school. Her teacher has given a prize dash her today. So in this sentence we notice that Rachel is receiving a prize. When somebody is receiving something, the preposition that we use is to. So her teacher has given a prize to her today. 
so she is walking happily suddenly she sees that a little girl is running dash her so the little girl is running in the direction of or we can say that the little girl is running towards her the little girl is running towards her so we can see that the girl was running towards her or in her direction now you must be wondering why we have not used to rachel could see that the girl was running in her direction but she was not sure that the girl was running to her so that's why we have used the preposition towards here and not to so today we have learned the preposition towards from and to and there are more prepositions that we will learn very soon you can use towards from and to in sentences of your own and see if you've understood the usage don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program So at Delta Step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now